Hey everybody, uh, James Akers here, the Tot Guy. I actually just finished doing a video where I was showing you how to coordinate an outfit, and I did an example just with one tie. Uh, I didn't go into how to coordinate the belt and everything else, but uh, uh, my philosophy is if wearing a brown suit or a blue suit, I like usually brown shoes. If I'm wearing um, a darker suit, I like to wear black shoes. Um, I have a massive tie collection, but I don't have a huge shoe collection. I actually have uh, three pair of black dress shoes and three pair of brown dress shoes. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll get into more detail on that kind of stuff. I'm obviously going to build that collection, but ties have been my priority more than shoes because I am the tie guy. I'm not the shoe guy. Uh, but today we're going to be wearing a light brown suit with a light blue shirt, and I'm going with a dark brown belt and a pair of dark brown uh, shoes by Bowley that are really nice shoes. Um, I hadn't even considered these shoes, and um, my stylist Andre at Neiman Marcus in Charlotte, last time I was down there, when he set my dressing room up, he had these shoes in there, they just jumped out at me, and he knows my style, so good job, Andre, and they, they, they are really sharp, they look good. But uh, today we're going to be tying a, a new tie for me, Tom Ford. Um, I got this tie in last week, and it's the first product of Tom Ford I own. I don't have anything else by him. I'm familiar with the name. Uh, I know he's a very high-end uh, uh, designer. His stuff is very expensive. Today we're going to kind of see if if the cost is justified. Uh, you know, I'm going to do a comparison on this to other tie brands. And uh, if anybody would know, it's me. I, I uh, know my ties. So we're going to uh, tie this thing up and see what it looks like. But we're going to match. It's a mustard yellow. And I had intended when I first got the tie to wear it with a navy suit. But when I was doing my video a little earlier and picking out the outfit, I really liked it with this blue shirt and uh, brown suit. So, um, as far as the tie itself, it's a very soft silk. It's not super thick. It's thicker than a uh, standard Ferragamo tie. Uh, not as thick as like a Keton or an Isaia on, on their more plush ties. <clears throat> but um, to be honest with you, it feels, um, it feels like a Zinnia tie is what it feels like. Um, I don't know who makes Tom Ford's ties. I don't know if he does them himself. Um, I know Zenia makes a lot of suits for a lot of the high-end designers, but I'm not sure about the ties. I don't have that kind of information at my disposal. But I can tell you it feels a lot like a Zenia tie. Um, it, ha it has a nice soft feel, um, but I there's nothing about this that's jumping out at me. And with all apologies to Mr. Ford, uh, I just give honest reviews here. There's nothing about this tie that says it's worth $60 more than a Zinnia to me or, or than a, a Salvador Ferragamo. These ties, I think, sell for about $255, whereas um, my Ferragamos are $190, and Zinnia is usually about $195. So you're paying a premium for this, and it, it just doesn't have that popping factor. Like a Caton, for example, I tied one on one of my videos a couple of days ago. It has such a plushness to it, you can just tell it's a more expensive uh, you know, to make. Um, um, this is a gorgeous tie, don't be wrong. I mean, this is, this is classic. Look at those colors. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, but it doesn't say, hey, I'm worth $60 more than this other tie. To me, um, with all apologies to Tom Ford fans, I, I give honest opinions here, reviews. I, I, I'm not, none of these tie people send me free stuff. None of these brands, I buy it all myself with my money and tie them. I'm going to give honest reviews. So let's tie it up and see what it feels like, though. So we'll get it behind our neck. We're going to find our spot, as I call it. Because this is not a really thick silk, I'm going to go probably, I'm thinking maybe in this range uh, as far as overhang goes. Um, and that should give us a nice uh, length. So, we take the long part of the tie over top of the short part of the tie, keeping it flat. We go behind and through. Then we take it around to the side, keeping everything nice and flat. Around behind, up and over, and then through again. And now we have, if you've been watching my videos, I call this the checkpoint. This is where we look. We want to, this like halfway through, we'll make sure our, our, our triangle is coming good. This triangle forms the base for making a nice symmetrical tie in the end. So now we take the, go around the front and create this little pocket here, behind and through again. And now we're going to push the tie through that little pocket we've created, pull it all the way down. And now we hold on to the knot and we pull on the longer part of the tie to tighten the knot. And then we're going to bring it up to our neck. And this tie is definitely a little short, so I'm going to have to retie it. But uh, I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, new brand to me, I have to figure out the length. So when I finish this tie up, it's hanging above my belt buckle. That is a no-no. Um, you, you want your tie to be half, somewhere between the top of your belt buckle and the bottom of the belt buckle. 
possibly a quarter of an inch long. So that just means it tied a little bit long, but it does tie a nice knot. So I will, I will say this. I was Earlier I was saying I don't know about justifying the extra cost, but this feels really nice tight. I'll, I'll admit that. You know, it feels really nice. So we're going to go a little bit longer now. We're going to leave a little bit more slack here, and let's retie this. I'm going to go a little faster this time because I just gave you the demonstration on how. So now I'm just going to worry about tying the tie and keeping everything nice and tight and everything. Um, this is not the tutorial. Tutorial was the last one. And let's see what this looks like when it ties up. A uh, very nice feeling silk. I'm giving it credit now, a little bit more credit while tying it. It does have a really nice feel to it. You can tell it's a well-made tie. You know, there's nothing about this that says it's cheap. It just has a, a buttery feel to it. Um, a lot like Azania. You know, I, that's a good comparison. You know, um, I'd like to know if maybe they're, you know, made in the same place or something because it definitely has that feel to it. Okay, let's look at this. So now we've got the tie coming down close to the bottom of the belt buckle. We like that. Let me uh, look in this little LCD screen. Looks like we've got a nice tight triangle going on. Um, yeah, gorgeous tie. I, I mean, let me tuck this, uh, tuck this in behind. The little, uh, usually the little name tag on the back. Uh, either the name tag itself or it'll have a little um, pocket like this, a little strap. So I'm going to tuck the back of the tie through that. There are certain ties, certain lengths of ties. Because I have a large neck, a 16 half inch neck, and because I tie a double Windsor, it takes more silk, that sometimes the back of the tie is too short to go through this. And so if that happens, just do the best to tuck it behind. To me, there's nothing that looks tackier than a crooked tie or a single knot twisted sideways or when you have the back of the tie hanging out here or something like that you know clean and classy I think is what a tie should look like you know this is a gentleman's dress so let's put on a suit jacket see what this looks like uh, all together um, and then we'll go over the look with you it'll scroll across the bottom of the screen like I usually do in my videos um, I don't have all kinds of fancy equipment I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to video so I just try to create these so that we can um, you know make it look good for you guys so you can see how to tie a tie so right now we have a brown Zinnia suit. We have a light blue Brooks Brothers shirt, a mustard yellow Tom Ford tie. Uh, went with my traditional Salvatore Ferragamo belt. I'm using the brown side, and I got a pair of uh, Bally brown dress shoes that the color is almost the same as the belt. And let me just take a little closer look at this, bring it up just a little bit. I tell you what. This is a nice look. I'm very happy with how this outfit turned out. Um, and now I am ready for work.